going on guys oh my god zillow back with another very exciting unboxing guys straight off the truck from this plane from japan we have another highly anticipated sh monster arts release guys i'm definitely interested to see the future of sh monster arts with uh we just had the awesome high on godzilla it looks amazing and super seven just dropped another cool exciting announcement for the uh, destroyer and godzilla set that there was a meltdown godzilla so the future of sh monster arts to me is definitely dependent on these next couple of releases and where they decide to go from here because as because haya and super seven are definitely threatening i use zen market by the way to get stuff that's uh you know comes from japan get a little early they package it really well do, 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 do. so again guys sh monster arts another highly anticipated release i remember everybody was freaking out when this one got announced this of course being you know it from the title the monster x so i am really glad we have the cool exterior box it's always fun to have that sh monster they did put some weird sticker there seen before sagawa but you do have the cool clean front there and then we just got to pick our battle I should really stop putting this behind me because I know I keep needing it. There it is. We're just going to cut through this tape here. Put it there this time. Try to carefully open this up. First thing you see, Monster X. Pretty awesome. Definitely stoked for this figure. I got all my, I don't know if the camera's picking up. I got all my Final Wars. I did Monster X stuff right here. All my other Final Wars stuff. And there's Monster X right there. I don't know if you can see him that low, but he's down there. So, anyways. Gotta do this gently, I don't wanna hurt anything. <laughs> the packaging is sweet. Monster X, ladies and gentlemen. Side of the package. Boom. 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 We'll take a better look at everything, of course, in the full review, so stick around for that. Hit the subscribe button. If you are not already subscribed, guys. But of course we will do a quick little first look. Take a peek at this guy. I am super excited to have the Monster X, so. Ooh, I see him. This box is gorgeous, by the way. I love this, this pose. They got the smoke in the back. It's just super cool. But for now, we're going to put this down. Whoa, it's actually... Okay, first thought right off the bat, he's actually a little smaller than I thought he'd be. There's a figure. Alternate hands are the only thing we have. Okay. Okay. Here we are with Monster X. Looks like his one hand had popped off his body. Alrighty, SH Monster X. Not looking like they're down for the count because this figure looks awesome. They are not going to be completely scared away by the likes of High Up Toys and Super 7. So let me really quickly put this hand back on. This is, uh, unfortunately, sometimes a common thing with some of these SH Monster Arts releases is the hands will pop off. So definitely, right off the bat, he's slimmer. He's small, much smaller than I thought he'd be. Um, so, there's that. We do have some cool jaw articulation. Not bad. Big old spine in the back. But he's really skinny. Tell me that doesn't look weird. I'm trying to look at my... I have my, my Monster X Bandai down here. Tail does not have that, that many segments either. That said, I mean, the sculpt is beautiful. It looks great. Teeth are not individually sculpted. That's a little disappointing, but it looks like a great figure. Almost a little confused as to why we have two sets of hands as they look super, super similar. I'll flip the camera in a second. We'll take a look at that. I don't know how he's going to... Oh, he does stand okay on his own. I thought he might need that tail. So definitely a very cool one, guys. Let me flip the camera. We'll take a better look at this guy. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. So here is our Monster X figure. Again, detail and sculpt looks great. Really nice. All things considered. But the, my, my thought is, he's just really so so slim. And here, let me here's what I'm saying about those hands. Take a look at the hand. Let me kind of get that one out of the way. Take a look at the hand. Pose, you got the fingers, the thumbs kind of wrapped up and around. And here's the other one. 
like, I'm really legitimately trying to look at these hands and figure out why we have a, a separate, a different hands. Like, yeah, they're different. They're definitely a little different, but they're almost so not, they're almost so similar. It's like, why bother? Here's what I'm talking about the tail. Instead of having tons of joints, they kind of got a little lazy on the tail. Joint, joint here, joint there, joint there. So definitely bigger joints than I was hoping for. Oh, I love these little spikes along here. They definitely did a pretty good job on some of the detail. Their articulation might be lacking a bit. I wish we got some sort of effect piece or something with this guy. Something other than just an alternate set of hands would have been cool. I do think the safest way to put this guy is definitely back on that tail, or else you kind of have to lean him forward a little too much. But guys, since I have him right here, within arm's reach, um, let me grab the SH Monster S Godzilla. So he's definitely got a little bit of height on Godzilla, but like, like Godzilla looks bulkier than him. Like, look at his, look at the chests. Like, th this guy just looks weirdly slim. We'll take a better look, of course, in the full review, like I said. But that's one of the things that does catch my eye right off the bat is this guy is definitely uh, he could hit the gym. He could he could hit the gym and then hit the the pasta bar. Um, but that's okay. He looks good. I'm glad we have some some decent mouth articulation on him. I don't know what I expected, of course, mouth articulation. It'd be blasphemy if we had an SH Monster Arts figure. It is cool we get good up and down rotation and side to side on these. The head, his main head. Oh, you do have some. It's just this whole piece. Wow, okay, I did not expect that. So this whole big piece is articulate. That's actually pretty sweet. Some decent side to side, some up and downs. We'll take a better look in the review, of course, which will be coming very, very soon. But guys, just let me know in the comments below. What are, hello. What are your thoughts on the SH Monsters Monster X? Did you pick it up? Do you have yours already? If so, what are your thoughts? And if you're still waiting, let me know. Let me know how excited you are on a scale of one to 10. Guys, I definitely am pretty impressed with this figure. Definitely can't wait to look, take a better dive into him, look better, to, better looks at his details and whatnot. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Stay tuned for more, and we'll see you in the next one.